New details for Roma men will be released from federal prison a little earlier than they thought. President Obama shortened their life sentences just days before leaving office. Yeah, their case grabbed national headlines. Tonight we are learning more about what sent them to prison and when they'll be released. Channel 5 Steve Solis joins us live in our studio with those details. Steve. Four brothers, Eduardo Lazaro Luis and Cesar Moreno Sr., are sitting in a federal prison tonight. They're serving life sentences on federal drug and money laundering charges. However, thanks to President Obama, their time in prison ends this spring. The crimes which landed them in prison had a major impact not only in Star County, but in cities across the country. The time was January 1986. President Reagan was in the White House and a major drug trafficking group was forming in Star County. Court records show that Eduardo Lazaro, Luis, and Cesar Moreno Sr. helped start a group which sent marijuana to cities like Houston, Chicago, Detroit, and Atlanta. Court documents reveal that marijuana would cross into the U.S. from Mexico. The drugs would then be stashed in Star County before they were driven to another place to be sold. The cash would then make its way back to the heads of the group in Houston and in Star County. Court records show more than 750,000 pounds of marijuana was sold by the group over a 10-year period. The group was busted by the feds in 1996. 79 people faced various drug and money laundering charges. In 2001, the Moreno brothers were sentenced to life in prison without the chance for parole. President Obama's decision to commute their sentences will allow them to return to Roma more than 20 years after their capture. Again, the Moreno brothers will be released from prison in May. More than 200 prisoners had their sentences commuted by President Obama. Most of those prisoners were convicted on drug charges. Now, during his presidency, Obama has commuted the sentences of 1,385 people. That is more than the total number of commutations issued by the past 12 presidents combined. Live in studio, Steve Solis, Channel 5 News at 10.